I love your book so much. And I'm so thrilled that we get to celebrate it all year long. What was the first thing kind of connected that went through your mind that night at the awards when you heard your name and the winner is John Keane for Punks? I felt really astonished, but also by the fact that the, the book continues to make its way in the world. One thing that I think is really interesting about punks is that it has poems from across decades and it spans so much of your life. And I I wonder what the process was for you in creating the collection when thinking about containing decades of life and of writing. While there are formal continuities, finding a way to have things balance out and have each individual section speak to the kind of larger whole was a challenge, but it was a wonderful challenge. So... What is your superpower and how do you use it as a writer? One of the things that I learned over the years was to be able to step back from my work and be a very strict editor and critic. What do you wish that readers knew about you as a writer as they pick up your book? I guess one thing I, I, I uh, wish that readers knew and hope the readers can see is that I also deeply love uh, music. So music as we traditionally understand it, but also the music of language, right? I hope that they can hear and feel the music or musics that surge through the collection of poetry. I want to dedicate this award to all the readers out there and to my ancestors on whose shoulders I stand, ancestors by lineage and association, including the several generations of writers, particularly the black, gay, queer, and trans writers. Especially those whom we lost to HIV AIDS in the 1980s and 1990s. Let's return to their words and the words of so many vital writers and artists we may have forgotten.